we are going to be honest about our alcohol intake. This is Money. So embarrassing. It's, it's an absurd everybody. number. We spent in the month of December two thousand eight hundred and sixty nine dollars on alcohol oh alone. Gosh. I'm appalled when I look back at how much I actually drank. I am certainly somebody who right now and in years past need to re-examine my relationship with alcohol. This year, I would say it was at least three drinks a day and oftentimes more. I can easily go through 18 drinks a day. Run to fun is what you coined. So here we are at 10 in the morning after a run. I am two drinks in at 10 a.m. Well, Amy Robock and, uh, you know, TJ Holmes are actually getting social media worked up with their latest bombshell, uh, you know, saying that they could apparently consume not less or basically, oh my goodness, like 18 bottles of hearts, you know, drinks in a day, right after their, their, their breakup with their exes. And it has been consistent since, you know, they broke up with their, their partners and still even living the relationship. Now, people have actually gone to social media to also uh, call out the, uh, you know, the couple, dragging them after their pathetic comments. But I think they're just speaking their own truth. But is the relationship actually based on alcohol, like they're drinking, drinking, drinking? I feel these people have no vision. Like Amy and TJ Holmes have no vision. In fact, there's no wisdom over here. Like, must this also come out as content from these two? Like, who cares, basically? If you have to consume 13 bottles or 18 bottles in a day, who cares? You are doing your own self disservice. In fact, if you are on their sick bed, I am not going to be on the sick bed, TJ Holmes. If you are lying so paralyzed and cannot even open anything about uh, yourself, like you cannot even raise your hand, you will actually be in um, bed radio, let me just say, on bed. The fans wouldn't care about you. Now you're telling us that you could apparently consume about 18, 15 to 18 bottles of drinks. And you think you're super happy, you're proud of yourself, and it's something that fans should watch and see and be very proud about that, okay, TJ Holmes and Amy Robux's relationship is based or centered about this, or this was the reason why they're super connected. I think this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard and seen in Hollywood. This is the most super, super, if not bizarre, one of the most horrendous things I've ever seen any partner come out to say. And the gas to which, which these two have been saying, in fact, they have no shame at all. They don't. They don't, they don't have any shame at all. Like, who in his or her right senses will come out to speak like this? Who? And the couple have no shame. Well, one will ask, who are these ladies? Oh, gosh, like, really, you don't know these, these two? These two apparently were, uh, you know, host and co-host of GMA, that's Good Morning America. Uh, they apparently were found uh, having some lecherous relationship in the, uh, in, the, in the franchise. They were apparently asked to uh, leave the franchise because it was very, very forbidden uh, to have a sexual affair in the company. And so both parties left the company. In fact, they, 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 they divorced uh, their various partners, denied allegations of even having an affair. Later, we also woke up to see that indeed the affair thing was real. It was true. And after all these brahaha about their relationship and affair and blah, blah, they're back to it again, saying that what binds them together is alcohol. Girl, we don't care about your alcoholic booze. We don't care about how buried you are in, with alcohol. We just do not care how you love or adore alcohol. But just remember this, the two of you, that when you are lying down, paralyzed, very not so active as you can or used to, Fans will remind you of the same thing you have been talking about or you did say. Well, maybe I'm talking too much, but some fans also have some interesting reactions about this, okay? Let's just check out some reactions because these two are super, super unbearable. They are actually very unbearable. The more you talk about them, the worse they get.
the more you talk about TJ and uh, you know Amy, the worse they get. How ridiculous. Okay, maybe uh, this will be the last time they are actually going to speak such nonsense. I don't know. But if it consistently comes out like this, I'm actually going to be, become very fed up with them. Eliza comes to say, ridiculous how hard uh, they keep trying to make themselves the victims. It's their entire storyline. Well, I don't care. They can, they can make themselves the corporate and villain at the same time. In fact, they can make themselves victims, corporate and villain at the same time. Nobody cares. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't care about how, how you drink. We don't care. Just, gosh, like, really? Uh, Benita Pauline also comes to say, how they started their relationship, uh, alcohol-infused, then they kept on, have to learn each other sober. Okay, me not work. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get your tweet, Benita. But thanks for your comment. We do appreciate it. Now, Miranda uh, comes to say, I love that they come out and say this. They are not hiding it like a lot of people. Uh, they are owing up to what they have, uh, they've done, are doing, and want to you know, do better kudos to them. Uh, who are we to knock someone uh, who wants to do better for themselves? Well, I'm not saying they shouldn't come out to speak. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. But things of such nature are not necessary for public domain. Imagine if I come out to say I haven't had sex, like for the, for, 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 for the couple of um, days now with various individuals. Who cares about my sex life? In fact, people have sex. In fact, people have random sex. And nobody cares about anyone's sex life. We all do know that sex is bound to happen. Alcohol is bound to happen. In fact, people, it is, it is human beings that drink alcohol, not goats, not sheep. So keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to, you know, have an encounter or uh, want to learn from your, your, your habits. People are watching you. That's, that's the basic of, the, of this argument I'm talking about. No one is asking them not to speak about the truth. Yes, yes, it's their podcast. They can talk about it. They can, they can have their various discussions. But I feel like some things necessarily don't have to come out. You don't necessarily have to spit everything out. Imagine if I, like I've said, I've, I've used sex, for example. Most people have sex. In fact, who knows whether I did have sex yesterday or I didn't. But I'm not coming to tell you that I've had sex, right or wrong. Things, some things are really kept privately. Well, I don't know. You can leave your third and comment inside the comment section, okay? Uh, maybe I could do some final reactions by some fans. Uh, Elizabeth Harper comes to say, uh, so uh, the relationship is a drunken one. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they're based on drunk. I think maybe that's, that's what binds them together. The alcohol thing, it binds them together. <laughs> How ridiculous. Like you actually base your relationship on alcohol. I see. Hmm. Uh... And finally, uh, okay, I think this word time would allow, but guys, um, yes, they're telling the truth, but I feel not everything has to come out publicly, okay? TJ Holmes and Amy, next time you have to think before speaking. This is where time would allow, and of course, we appreciate your time. Do all to subscribe to our platform and leave your thoughts and comments inside the comment section. Thanks for watching.